Okay, we're here with our 1953 Alcourt Sunfish uh, Zip. We're doing some hull and deck repairs. Currently working on a uh, letterbox repair on the deck. We've cut out the old rotten area. Now we're making a pattern for the patch. And by letterbox, if you can envision the old, you know, front doors that had a uh, little letter slot on them, uh, eventually sometimes people would have those repaired. The mailboxes went out to the curb or something. So they needed to plug that hole. So basically they just cut a little plug and fit it in from behind. It's also good for a blind patch repair. We can, where we can't access the hole other than from the hole we're working in. So we can take a, cut a little bracket, a little backer plate. It's gonna go inside. Just a little bit bigger than the hole. We're gonna glue this in place. And then that becomes the shelf that the uh, plug is going to rest on. And uh, for the plug, at first we laid a piece of clear, you know, a piece of poly over the top of it. And uh, and cut it out. We're going to use that as a pattern, but I got thinking that's that's pretty flimsy. I don't that plug might end up all kinds of different sizes and we want to get as close of a fit as we can because all I want to see when I'm done is a little thin seam of uh, glue around here and it's going to be a wood colored glue uh, we're going to use uh, Thixo wood on this uh, Jamestown distributor sent us some to uh, try out and we're liking it so far it's your regular thickened epoxy in a cartridge tube and it's uh, got a wood color to it so then I had a stroke of brilliance and just uh, taped over the hole, a couple layers of tape with the blue tape, and then took a razor knife and then just just trimmed all around the edge as best I could. So that's going to be the basic pattern. We know this is this is smaller than the hole, so we're going to draw a line around here and you know clean it up where the knife moved a little bit. And then we'll cut it out with the jigsaw. We're going to leave it just a little bit proud. We'll leave just a little bit extra on there so we can get it over to the boat and we can take a file and then just shape it to fit, uh, as, get as close to fit as we can to the boat. Another thing we want to talk about today is this, uh, this is, is marine grade plywood. This plywood's uh, graded A, B marine. A meaning it's got the best side on one side and B is the not so best side on the other. The plywood has to have waterproof glue to hold plies together. See this piece has three plies and on these inner plies there's not supposed to be any voids bigger than an eighth of an inch. So that uh, means it, it shouldn't peel apart and even if a little water does get in there there shouldn't be that big of a space for water to go. Now I'm not sure any other previous AB Marine I bought, this one actually has two different pieces of wood um, matched up here. And the, the grain is pretty good, but they also have these little uh, football shaped plugs where there's some kind of knot or imperfection so the machine cuts out a chunk and basically that's the same letter box or plug type repair we're talking about and sticks in another piece. And this side is the better side. I'm assuming they mean it's the A side, but you know, there's there's limits to how much they can putty and plug to to call that A. And uh, honestly, this is the crustiest looking piece of A marine grade plywood I've got, but um, can't be picky. We're kind of lucky to, to get it at all. Even though we live in a coastal area, it's just not something that there's a whole lot of use at mom and pop lumber stores for other than um, marine construction, our local uh, dock repair, dock supply place uh, carries it. So this, uh, I'm grading this the B side because it's got several cuts where this outer veneer's been uh, put together. So it's in several different strips going up. So the grain's different. There's a more putty repairs and there's a couple more football repairs hanging out in here somewhere. 
in some ways this is the better side other than it's got the this line where they put different strips of ply that aren't as wide as the four foot so anyway that's a b marine grade plywood i know our one usual visual visitor will come on and ask about what about pressure treated haven't ever used it know very little about it if someone's got uh, more information on it if it can be used in this you know day sail you know marine environment you know the boat's not left out in the water all the time then uh, give us a holler and uh Next up, one of our side projects, we got some parts to uh, replace seats and repair some straps on our kayaks. So we'll be working with all that next. And we're going to play around with this little uh, cordless DeWalt uh, jigsaw that we bought. See how we like that. I think we're going to like it and uh, potentially do a review on it for Small Boats uh, Magazine. So we're not going to say a whole lot about it until then. The um, mention I posted that Lowe's has a special going on for about the next few days where if you buy one of the uh, tools, the tool only, the uh, battery pack and charger uh, come with it for free. So it's a three amp hour battery, $120 value. The tool you're gonna find uh, costs more than if you went to Home Depot, you know, the bear tool or uh, somewhere else by about forty dollars or so but if you're getting a hundred twenty dollar battery and charger to go with it then you might come out ahead this is the regular 20 volt and uh, what uh, gent in the store we had a little conversation told me about is up here some of the batteries are rated uh, XR they're supposed to have longer run times than just your uh, you got 20 volt max and then you've got Yep, that says 20 volt max also, but then there's an XR battery as well. So, you know, maybe this uh, battery doesn't have as long a run of time, but uh, you always, we always find we need little small batteries that are good for, you know, 10, 20 minutes to put a couple screws in or something like that instead of having to drive out the, uh, or drag out the extension cord and use a power tool. So... Those are the things uh, we're playing around with today. We hope y'all are staying social and distant. If you got any questions or you got your projects going on, uh, be sure and holler in the comments. We'd love to hear what y'all are working on or even just uh, thinking about. And we'll uh, just be back with you soon.